We simply cannot go on without making some changes. We all know this. We know the statistics about aging, increased utilization, and increasing costs. There are literally hundreds of British Columbians who want to return to the communities where they grew up to do their residencies and to serve in their communities. But because they chose to study medicine in a different country, we won't let them. We need to change that policy immediately because it's not helping anyone. I think we need to identify those patients who are costing the system the most and we need to spend more money on them at home so hospital costs are less. Next, our system pays for services and procedures and not outcomes. We need to look at changing that. We need to begin to regulate clinical counselors and we need to bolster the regulations governing psychology so that regulators can better protect the public and patients can make informed choices. What we have right now is a private health care system that has the public system as its safety net. I think that is pretty compelling reason to start a real dialogue about what kind of private care our public health system can afford. We need to have a dialogue about both types of private care, where the patient pays and where the government pays. When we find things that work, we need to expand them. There will be initial startup costs, but I don't know how we can afford not to try to make changes. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for your attention and concern as we explore the future of healthcare in our great province. And I welcome your support for my campaign and this cause that is so important to everyone you know and love. Thank you.